Welcome back to the channel. Let's continue with the last subtopic under states of matter, phase diagram. Learning outcomes include define phase, triple point and critical point, identify triple and critical point on a phase diagram, sketch the phase diagram of water and carbon dioxide, finally compare the phase diagram of water and carbon dioxide as well as explain the anomalous behavior of water. Let's begin by defining phase. Phase is a homogeneous part of a system which is separated by a distinct boundary such as solid, liquid and gas. Example, when you have a glass of water with a layer of oil floating on top, it shows two phases, oil and liquid. Next, when you have a glass of coke with bubbles and several ice cubes, it shows three phases, ice, solution and carbon dioxide gas. Here are a few examples for you to read through. Next, let's look into some important terms in a phase diagram. First, triple point. Triple point is the point which three phases, namely vapor, liquid and solid, are in equilibrium at the same temperature and pressure. Next, critical point. Critical point is the highest temperature above which it is impossible to liquefy a gas no matter how great the pressure applied. At this point, there is no boundary between the liquid phase and the gas phase. Here is a simple figure of a phase diagram. Phase diagram is a graphical plot of pressure versus temperature that shows the condition at which a substance exists as solid, liquid or vapor. Here you can see pressure is labeled at the y-axis and temperature at the x-axis. There are three main features on a phase diagram. First, Regions between the lines that correspond to stable phases like solid, liquid and vapor. Next, the lines that correspond to temperature and pressure under which two phases are in equilibrium. For example, solid and liquid boundary, solid and vapor boundary, finally liquid and vapor boundary. Finally, points whereby the phases meet. Now, let's look into the phase diagram of carbon dioxide. There you go, a correctly sketched and labeled phase diagram of carbon dioxide. Curve AT is the sublimation or deposition curve. Here, solid carbon dioxide is in equilibrium with vapor carbon dioxide. Next, TB line, the melting or the freezing point line. Here, solid carbon dioxide is in equilibrium with liquid carbon dioxide. Finally, curve TC, which is the boiling point curve. Here, liquid carbon dioxide is in equilibrium with vapor carbon dioxide. Note that TV slopes to the right and has got a positive gradient. The reason for this is that solid carbon dioxide is denser than liquid carbon dioxide. The atmospheric pressure of 1 atm is below the triple point. This shows that it is impossible for solid carbon dioxide to melt at 1 atmosphere. Instead, it undergoes sublimation into gas. Here is a phase diagram of water. As you can see, it is very much similar to that of carbon dioxide. However, the only difference is that line TV for water slopes to the left and has a negative gradient. Next, the atmospheric pressure of 1 atm is above the triple point. 
Why does the TB line slopes to the left? This is known as the anomalous behavior of water. What happens? Because from the phase diagram of water, as the pressure increases, melting point decreases. The melting point line for water is a negative slope since liquid water is denser than solid water. As you all know, ice cubes float on liquid water. We can also explain this through equation. Density, as you know, is mass per unit volume. When volume decreases, density increases. So, that is why an increase in pressure favors the formation of the denser phase, which is liquid. Water tends to become liquid since it is a denser phase. So, that is why the melting point decreases. Now, here's a question to try. Do continue watching the next video for solutions on Fasia questions. Thank you.